What's up everybody, a Sparrow with a Gun here from Sleepless Nights with another episode on Subnautica. Uh, when we left off in the last episode, we found the... Well, we were exploring the latest patch, which has to do with the... Welcome aboard, Captain. The last, um... Major precursor facility. And I love this! I love it so much, we have an ion generator thingy. It's so great. So awesome. Um, so a couple of things that I wanted to bring up. Uh, first of all, I've been complaining rather frequently in my episodes about the performance of the game. Um, and I was informed through the comments of my last video, unbeknownst to me, that apparently, because I've looked into, but can't say that I've ever directly, like, kept track of the devs, uh, Trello page and stuff like that. Like, I know it's there. Meh. Where'd the other ones go? Fell in. Eh, whatever. Still gave me two. Um, and I still, you know what? I still don't know, uh, what exactly happened to my, um, Kyanite stuff, because I, for the life of me, feel like I remember actually acquiring some in my, in one of my other videos. Uh, but now I don't have any. Nope, give me that back. So, as you can see, I have a blue, uh, artifact here. We'll go over that in a minute. But, um... So apparently, according to one of the comments that I got on my last video, uh, apparently the devs are looking at the whole next, like, few patches or three months or something like that, focusing on optimizing, and I was like, oh, thank goodness, that's music to my ears. Um, so far, the devs for this game really have been playing it pretty smart. Um, a lot of early access games and stuff have their flaws and stuff in a lot of why early access games fail tend to do with the development team, quite honestly, like just point blank bluntness. Um, it, whether it be feature creep that they got caught up in trying to add too much stuff, or whether it be um, not having a efficient pipeline, whatever, uh, it usually ends up being something to do with, with things like that, or that, you know, it has a lot of stuff, but the game doesn't run right, or whatever. Pick your, pick your poison. Um, so I was really glad to hear that right at the point where I was kind of like, come on, I'm getting kind of frustrated, you keep adding stuff, but I'm, you know, it's hard for me to continue to use it when it keeps bogging down all the time. So to then find out that's one of the priorities on their next few patches or something, or at least shifting gears for their development cycle, I was like, sweet, they, they do know what they're doing, awesome. You know, this is great. Um, another thing was that apparently because I'm running off of an old game and not like a fresh update type of thing, um, I did not have a blueprint for the blue artifacts. Uh, which apparently you're supposed to have, which is why I only had one, because when you pick up that first one in the thermal plant, you're supposed to get a blueprint, so I could have gone back and made another one, and so on and so forth. So, in the interest of time, considering that I have the resources to make it, um, I just spawned one in so that we didn't have to go all the way back and come all the way back. It was kind of one of those, I personally didn't have enough off-camera time to do all that running around, um, and so just to keep the progress going in the videos and not have another lull in our, like, you know, two videos or something where you're not really getting anything done just because you had to make a trip back and do it quote-unquote the right way, um, I opted just to spawn in one and I'll get rid of stuff later. But that also gave me the blueprint, so that's something that confirms that theory is when I picked up the first one, it should have given me the blueprint for this. And it's an ion crystal and two diamond. We can, we can do that, no problem. And I still do have, um, I'm pretty sure, yeah, all this alien data. I want to kind of focus on completing the rest of this area first. Um, but when we get back to the base or something, I will more than likely end up, more than likely end up looking into that. Okay. So we have opened the door to the rest of the facility, which translated local alien broadcast warning vaccine development program terminated, emperor egg hatching projected term oh project terminated, live specimens terminated, evacuate immediately. Hmm. Well, that's comforting. I will say I have a I feel like there's a flaw in that theory, though, considering that they said everything was 
um, terminated and blah, 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 yet I'm being called to telepathically by something, and I don't think it's somebody's iPhone. So, I'm guessing they're not quite as terminated as they think they were, or the original aliens thought. So this is awesome, by the way, in a really creepy, disturbing, but, like, really cool Borg-like pool type of thing. This is really cool. I really hope this thing doesn't eat me. Um, I mean, you would think if it's calling to me and saying it can help, like we, whoa, whoa, that thing is huge. Are you here to play? Um, the others came but played alone. They bored me. Now they're gone. And instead, I have you. Mm-hmm. Um... What do I do? Is there like a button prompt or something? Dude, that thing is massive! I mean... I get the whole... Emperor thing now. Jeez. I don't know what it meant by play like is eating me play to you or <laughs> I'm not really sure how this works so here's the habitat thing I guess unlike other alien facilities scan indicate this location supports a diverse and healthy ecosystem explanation unclear at this time so they detecting unusually passive behavioral patterns in nearby predators reason unknown oh so these stalkers and things won't attack me either huh. well now ain't that cozy I pr you know what I should probably bring my suit down here that was kind of, that's kind of dumb of me I was looking at my air going um, the air's not really doing a whole like I don't know if I have enough air to get down here and back and then I was like oh wait I have a bronze suit with me that could just sink to the bottom now getting back up I'll have to probably use my grappling arm but still I'm still though that I'm glad it's on my side well I think it's on my side we still haven't really exactly clarified what play means to it so it could go really bad Can I use this instead? Can I use the walk, the ramp instead of the stairs? Those are big stairs. Okay. Prawn suit, help me! Yeah, well, that thing is uh, thing is nuts. In in terms of its its size and stuff, like it's a crazy creature thingy. Ooh, what is that? Is that another door back there? that I missed? Huh. Kinda looks like some kind of door over there, doesn't it? I wonder... I've never really used the prawn suit much outside of... the water. Will this work? doesn't appear to be working. I'm guessing there will be some kind of- Oh, I'm stirring up dust and crap. I'm guessing there will be some kind of path thing. Ooh. Some kind of path thing that shows up after this. Alright, YOLO! We're going in. Ooh, okay. Coming down, buddy. Whee! I'm guessing that uh, centerpiece thing is kind of the main event or idea. This is cool! And that thing is just massive. I'm really, really glad that so far it's on my side. I mean, that other sea dragon thing just destroyed me before. And that thing's like twice its size. Oh, that's the eggs! Okay. Well, this just took a turn. 
Those do not look uh, terminated to me. Do they look terminated to anybody else? Actually look relatively unhatched. Environment scans indicate the water here is rich with a rare plankton-like life form which depends on the organic detritus. Detrit? Detrit? <laughs> Whatever. I didn't get all that. Um, I had a little scan icon come up, didn't I? Yeah, right there. Ah! Hi. Um. How are you? Don't mind me. Incubator device. Oh, that's what I'm scanning. Okay. This alien device is some form of incubator attached intravenously to the Leviathan, Leviathan's eggs, allowing nutrients to be fed into it. Um, that is incredibly creepy to me. Like, it's just staring at me. Mm. Doesn't make me uncomfortable at all. Oh my. Uh, can we get in our... Welcome first? Aboard, Captain. There we go. Shell. Uncommonly strong shell lining organic growth on the exterior suggests these eggs may be hundreds of years old. That comes back to what they said. Alien tubes. Alien devices penetrate the outer shell layer, likely designed to supply them with nutrients and to isolate them from the surrounding environment. Amniotic sac. Unlike most of the other eggs were where a nutrient supply is slowly exhausted by the embryo, these eggs exist in a form of natural stasis, likely awaiting ideal hatching conditions. There is a high genetic match between these organisms and the Leviathan in the vicinity. They appear to be stable and healthy. It is likely that the that ideal hatching conditions vary considerably from ideal conditions for survival of the parent. The local ecosystem appears to have prioritized the latter. Oh, okay. So this ecosystem prioritized this guy or this I guess queen living but not hatching of the eggs. They're like two different Oh, here we go. Probably have to power the stuff. Um <laughs> This this uh this thing's freaking me out over here. Are you, are you going to talk to me or say anything, or are you just going to stare ominously like you want to kill me? I have a feeling if it wanted to kill me, it would already killed me already, because I don't think... I mean, the thing is freaking telepathic and everything. Oh, who knows what else it's capable of. Alright, screw it. This requires a power cell, no doubt. Eh. Oh, oh, I need, uh, I need one. I was like, wait, I know I have one. I put them all in here. Alright, let's try this. What could possibly go wrong? My young want to hatch, to play outside this place. We have been here so long. Eh. Watch that tentacle. The others had ways of giving passage to the outside. I asked them for this, but they could not hear. Huh. If you can hear, you can help. If you can help, I will tell what the others wanted so badly to know. Okay, I'm down. Um, I'm guessing this panel thing. Right? Incubator, insert hatching enzymes. Do I have hatching enzymes? Uh, where might one acquire said hatching enzymes? I might have to do some googleage. Unless she's. Ugh. Oh, come on! Dang, nabbit. Unless she's got a way to get the hatching enzymes. I mean. What? What'd I do? What'd I do? What'd I do? Oh. Scare me like that. She's actually helping. I thought she was gonna. Eat. I thought I ticked her off. Like you're trying to leave without hatching my eggs. I'm gonna eat you now. Okay. So what? What? Uh, what you? What you trying to tell me here? 
these enzymes have to be around here somewhere, right? Like, there's no way that you could have known about this beforehand. Aquarium warp gate. What? Where? Uh, let's get in our suit before we read this. Scans indicate this warp gate has not been active since the facility was abandoned. It likely served as an access point to the surface of the planet. It is much too small for the Emperor specimen to pass through, but it may accommodate a juvenile specimen. Aww. Well, that's sad. We gotta leave it behind? Tell me we can't, like, blow a hole in the wall or something and get her out too? That's gonna be kind of messed up. She's been stuck here for, like, hundreds of years. I mean, why not? I'm starting to realize why they give you, like, an infinite generating ion crystal. I wonder if these green glowy light things are some of the specimens or something. I don't know. Okay. Hey, that actually worked that time. The other animations haven't been... You gave me what I asked for. I give you what you seek. Wait, what? My young cannot be forced from their shells. They must be coaxed. This is what the others could not see. I give you this secret willingly. I hope what? I will not be disappointed again. Hatching enzymes. Oh, okay. Should have probably left the suit up there. Oh, blueprint. Hold up. Do I have to make them? Equipment. Uh, here we go. Hatching enzyme. Gabe's feather seed, sea crown seed, membrane tree seed, rogue cradle seed. Okay, oh boy. Um, I don't have any of that on me. Um, can you uh, hold that thought? I'll, I'll be back. Promise. I mean, I actually will, but I'm thinking this is the actual progression. I don't think you were supposed to, like, know about that beforehand or anything. Hey, I wonder what happens if I walk through with the prawn suit. I never really even thought to try that. I guess it works. Okay. Yeah! Where the heck are... Oh, is this the... Oh, this is the quarantine platform. Wow. Okay. Um, well, that's both good and bad, I guess. Good for future reference. Um, did I turn off my waypoints for those? No. Why are they not showing up anywhere, then? Yeah, this has got to be the quarantine platform. Because that's the sub-pen. Where are my waypoints, though? Wow, I was uh, apparently a lot deeper than I thought I was. <laughs> I didn't think I was that far down. Huh. Well, that's a whole heck of a lot closer than trying to go all the way back through the inactive lava zones and everything. I am a little concerned that my... Yeah, there's the Aurora over there. A little concerned that my ping manager isn't showing up the life pod and stuff, though. Are we really that far away? Oh boy. Um, so this has a fairly interesting predicament to it. Or predicament to it. Because I can't really... I mean, this works really well in terms of um, coming back back, but I need to get my ship out first. So, we've activated the portal, but I think our next step is to go back through the lava zone and bring my ship back out at this point. Is Well, not this point, but at this point in the play, in the episode type thing. I just realized, can I... Oh, I can access, so I could do ion power cells for 
the prawn suit and stuff too. Oh dang. But that infinite ion generator thing, we're gonna be ballers. Okay, so we're back here. She's still kind of staring, like waiting on you now. Portion. Dehydration detected. Uh oh. Alright, we need to get back to the ship. Um about that though. This isn't good. This is not good. Can can my crap like nope. Um Alright. I gotta figure out how to get out of here. Uh, give me just a minute, because I've got to find some kind of leapfrog method here. Okay, so I found that obviously there's a bunch of fish and stuff around here that I was grabbing, um, but I couldn't find anything that gave me water, which was kind of unfortunate. Um, so I did end up kind of spawning in a few, just because I know I've got plants and stuff back at the sub I would have just I wasn't paying attention and stuff and I didn't really get what I need or wasn't really watching what I should have so there's that but I found this up um, over here let me see if I can find or swim over to where the whereabout this is it's towards the back behind the Emperor over here and there's kind of these steps that we just I just kind of leapfrogged up basically uh, so nothing too crazy. And then there's this uh, airlock water bubble thing back here. And it has a ion cell and there's one there. Or a pedestal. So I'm guessing this is going to lead to that portal up top. Would be my estimation. Probably because they figured out that the prawn suit even I imagine even with the upgraded thrusters wouldn't have the capability to get up back up to the top is probably what it is I imagine and I do think I, I was swimming around a little bit down there again trying to find more um, food and stuff to keep myself going yep this is where we spawn in okay cool and I'm kind of thinking that um, Probably everything that I need is probably already down there because I found um, a couple of Gabe's feathers, which was one of the ingredients. Gabe's feather, sea crown, ro rogue cradle. I know I've seen. I know I saw down there. Sea crown and membrane tree are probably down there too. So they probably gave you everything that you really need. Um, but again, with my health and or not health, my food and resources and stuff, I kind of wanted to get back to the the sub. And what I think I'm gonna do is I might grab some more ion crystals on my way out. Um, but I think what we're gonna do is get the sub back to the main uh, base and stuff. Um, and then I will probably bring the sea moth. Well, I might not be able to actually. Now that I think about it, the sea moth might not be able to handle this depth. So... Well, that warp gate is underwater. So what I could do is, instead of bringing the Cyclops back to the base, I could bring the Cyclops... Did I miss another one? Where'd it go? I could bring the Cyclops back to um, that gate point at the quarantine facility and then drop the, the prawn suit down and go that route and then we can just walk it back in from there that's probably what we should do all right so let me take care of that we're gonna get back and I will be back in a minute okay so we are out of the uh, active lava zone and everything I did take a slight detour and we're parked out here in the cush zone I think is that, where, is that where we are? Yeah, Kush Zone. Okay. Um, so you can pause if you want and take note of my camera world position coordinates if you don't know where this is or look it up on the wiki, but it's a specific wreck that's supposed to have a very useful item now. Um, so I've been using this for a long time, and for a couple of people mentioned, you know, that's kind of silly, but for a while, it's it actually was not that... I think it took a half or a quarter of the power of one cell to charge another. So you could throw two on here 
and you'd lose a little bit off of your one, but you you recharge these fully and swap them out, and you could essentially keep doing that um, until you had a max power again. I've noticed these weren't charging as much, and I thought that was just weird, because ions are supposed to be really strong. Um, but I also got a comment that they changed that to where it doesn't have that ability anymore now, I believe. I guess it's one-to-one, -one, so you're just basically swapping power for something else. It's not really doing what it was doing before. But they did add a uh, Cyclops thermal generator. Um, and before I left, I managed to get some... Oh, I put it away. I managed to get some Kyanite that we can actually bring back with us. But you need to get the blueprint for the generator. Hence why we're here, because if I don't fall to my death, there we go, uh, I don't really know why I'm running on 15 frames now. Like, I don't know what is crazier here than the active lava zones, but apparently something's, something's tearing my frame rate up. Um, so you'll just have to bear with me for a minute. is I need a door or some kind of hole. I don't know if that's... Will this work? Is this a, is this big enough that I can get through here? Maybe, kinda, sorta, not really. Doesn't look like it, actually. How about you? Nope. There's gotta be... Ah, here we go. Is this a hole? There's gotta be a hole somewhere. Or a door or something. Dang nabbit! How do I get in this place? I'm gonna use up all my air trying to get in this place. Ooh, that's kind of cool. I've either never been here before, or I don't remember that uh, effect of having the sands uh, slide around. Seriously, where is the door here? This is as bad as the Space Engineers Inspiration series. Oh, there we go. That'll work. Alright. Um... So, yeah, again, not really sure why the frame rate is so fluctuating here. It's, it's been very strange from a, dev, uh, from a, having an understanding of the game development process and stuff. It's been very weird what actually messes with the frame rate in this game and what doesn't. Like, there's a lot of stuff that you would think would do it and it doesn't, and then sometimes you just can't even figure out what's going on. Ooh, what are you? Scanner room threat. Oh, I was gonna say, I was like, don't I already have that? Okay, so what we're looking for is one of the new data boxes, actually, and this looks like the glow from one. Scanner room fragment, why not? I didn't actually read what that said. I feel like that didn't give me anything. Basic plant pot, and that did though, however. Did that give me anything? I mean, it said new, but it's probably the plant pot. It is. Dag damn it. Um, I do think, now that I'm thinking about it, that the wiki did mention that there was two different data boxes in here, so we might have to find the other one in order to get what we are searching for. Apparently there's nothing down here. Oh, there's a laser, laser door. Uh, oop. Still getting used to some of the new, uh, new thumbnails and stuff. But yeah, so this thermal generator is supposed to work essentially the same way that the regular thermal generator does, or the uh, prawn suit thermal generator, um, which is essentially you park a, a cyclops somewhere hot. And it's supposed to um, charge the ship. Now, I'm still not seeing a data box. Well, that's not good. Unless there's a different part to the ship that I need to go through. Uh oh. Thirty seconds. Kind of getting a little lost here. I gotta remember how to... Oh, you know what? Maybe it's down that way, in that compartment. 
I guess I could take the suit in a little closer. I just wasn't sure how this was laid out. Something like this should help a little bit. Because that spits me out right there. Let's see where this goes. Maybe this takes us to a different area. Because like I said, the wiki mentioned there being two, so even if we had the blueprints already, we should still at least find two boxes. And I'm not seeing a second one, so I'm, I'm loath to give up on it, except that this takes me back to the same place. Which is not a good sign. Um, yeah, that's not that's not good. Uh, did I just miss something? Like, is it here and I'm just not seeing it, or what is going on? Oh wait, this isn't the same area, is it? No, this isn't the same area. I don't think. But at the same time, it doesn't go anywhere. And there's no box. I'm so confused. Hmm. Well, that's a problem. Of all the things, who would have thought to look outside the wreck? I just spent the last like 20 minutes, I even used like free cam so you could fly through walls and stuff and I was like, where is this thing? It's right here. Take a drill to the face. Back off. Yeah, so it's right here this whole time. I've been, I've been like right in front of it. Thermal reactor power module. There we go. Alrighty. Well, that'll save us some time. So I think uh, we're gonna have to wrap things up here for time. Um, but I'm thinking our next little set of adventure type of deal next episode will probably be I'll, I'll probably go ahead and make the thermal reactor and stuff and get the cyclops and stuff like powered up and charged up and things like that um, and then what I'm thinking is I will probably end up oh come on there we go um, I'll probably end up taking once we get the power module in place and we get it charged and all that crap and we make some more ion power cells for everything, including the prawn suit and all that jazz. Um, then we'll probably take the ship back out and go to the... Um, uh, what is it called? Quarantine facility and basically drop our prawn suit by that portal. Um, and I probably should take a beacon with me so that I can always go back there easily without having to really figure out where I'm going. And then we can go back through and try and finish all that up. So that's what we'll probably end up doing. Uh, but we're going to wrap things up here for today. In the meantime, I hope you all enjoyed. If you did, leave a like, and I'll see you all next time. Peace.